Since April 2019, Self-Help Africa with funding from International Potato Center has been implementing a project entitled Market Driven Scaling Up and Adoption of Potato in Africa through a technology package combining market driven, climate resilient, novel potato varieties with a seed system innovation as part of the big CGIAR research program on roots tubers and bananas are to be. The overall objective of the project has been accelerating access to quality seed of robust market-oriented potato varieties by farmers in Kenya and Uganda through the integration of rooted apical cuttings into the potato seed systems in selected southwest and eastern districts of Kanungu, Chisoro, Rwanda, Kabale, as well as Mbale, Kuin and Kapchora respectively. I've been managing a project uh, called Market Driven Scaling Up Potato Project in southwestern Uganda and eastern Uganda. The project was implemented by Self Help Africa in partnership with SIP, who as well provided technical backstopping. In the implementation of the project, there were a number of partners, uh, including Kazadi. Kazadi was uh, responsible for production of tissue culture materials or plantlets uh, through which the rooted apple cuttings are produced from. Kazadi was also uh, supportive in terms of uh, training the extension workers and seed producers. Bogizadi was also uh, was also a partner in Eastern Uganda, and it was also uh, supportive in terms of training the seed producers and also monitoring their performance uh, in the fields. The screen house owners were also partners on the project and they were also producing rooted apple cuttings uh, through which we would buy uh, uh, the, the cuttings from them and then we would distribute them to the seed producers. As a way of, uh, of sustainability of the project, there was involvement of local government officials. We were involving them in the daily activities of the project uh, because at the end of the day when the project ends, for them, they remain on the ground and they continue with the project activities. Agromax was also another project, another partner on the project, and the, they were also producing rooted apple cuttings, and we were buying them and distributing them to the, to the seed producers. So the main objective of the project was to increase accessibility of high-quality seed among the smallholder farmers in the regions. And uh, we have been trying to support or increase the capacity of the seed producers to produce seed from that technology of rooted apple cuttings. So the, the production of rooted apple cuttings starts with the, the tissue culture materials which are produced from the laboratories and they are taken to the screen houses uh, for hardening. So when, when they harden, the, the mother gardens are established and the, we have the mother plants in the mother gardens and it is from the mother plants that we get apple cuttings uh, on a continuous basis. The, the performance of rooted apple cuttings compared to other technologies is quite high because when you compare with mean tubers. After transplanting in the field, apical cuttings can produce each up to 20 tubers and more. Uh, which, is, which is quite high compared to the mean tubers where you find you're getting like 10 or 11 tubers per, per, per plant. So in terms of increasing the production of seed, the rooted apical cuttings technology offers a technically and economically feasible alternative to mini tubers to produce seed. Because within the shortest period of time, the seed producers are able to produce enough seed which can be distributed or which can be sold to the farmers. And the, another advantage of the technology is that it can be, it, the, the, the rooted apical cuttings can be planted in screen houses or in open fields unlike uh, the main tuber production uh, using the tissue culture materials.
umurimo wogu ugwa screen house nkagutandika enkumi ibiri na ikumi neina kando uge ndiku ya ambwa awa IFDC wakabanza wa nyombe chera screen house kani njihinga mu prantire tisi ezindi kui hakachweka no ziri kuhika rukumi na vitano umusharu roguazo nkawani insharu uramu kilo makumi ya tano ne itano kandi umumwaka nkawani impinga mu emirunde ebiri yonka ahanyima heija awa SIP wako atanise na Serio Ferpo Afrika awa IFDC wako atike na kachweka no batutora na awa hinji Omburijawo na hachi ni mwaba antora nire okuza Kenya okwega ebya rooted apical cuttings. Ogeno mwaka enkumi hivili ekumi na muenda. Obuho hireho ntaka jire a training Kenya. Mbe ni shohoza mini tubers. Okurugumu parantiretsi kwa mkakutu wa jire Kenya training umaka guwe nkumi hivili ekumi na muenda. Hati ni shohoza rooted apical cuttings okuruga umparantiretsi. So in the in in the production of seed, post harvest handling is key. When when the seed producers get uh, seed from the gardens or from the fields, it is taken to the stores, and then they apply Marathian dust to ensure that there are no pests uh, around the seed. So that by the time it sprouts and they want to give it out to, to the farmers, they are actually giving out high quality seed. These cuttings have managed to get some experience from them. I had some time back, I purchased some cuttings from Agromax that were 700. I put them, I exposed them to the other garden conditions outside. Out of the 700 cuttings I had bought from them, I got 400 kilograms and those 400 kilograms I got I planted them again and again in the garden. I got 8,800 kilograms. Those are almost 110 bags from the four bags I had planted. So with that, you see, apical cuttings, they really produce a lot compared to what we were producing initially. During the implementation of the project, we have notified several challenges that might hinder the uptake of the rural apical cutting technology, which need to be handled to improve the uptake of this technology. There are still challenges at the production level of rooted apical cuttings. This leads to high production costs, leading at its turn to high selling prices, which might reduce market demand for this product. Therefore, further research and technical backstopping is needed to the producers of rural apical cuttings to improve their production processes. The second challenge is the transportation of rural apical cuttings to the client. Rural apical cuttings are transplants and very fragile, so there is need for adequate packaging to allow quality maintenance during transport from the producer to the buyer. Initially, we, all, we would always have the challenge of getting clean seed. Clean seed has always been a challenge to the farmers. People place orders for clean seed, but when you don't have the cuttings or clean seed, you end up failing the orders. So now with the cuttings, we are really able to meet our orders. Even orders are overwhelming. We are not even able to meet the orders that we are getting apparently. One of the challenges uh in the production of rooted apical cuttings is low survival rate, and this is basically attributed by uh, lack of proper management in the screen houses. But the SIP has been supportive in terms of providing technical guidance and backstopping to the screen house owners to ensure that they get more knowledge and skills uh, to help them in the production of, of rooted apical cuttings and increase on survival rate. Kwa ajiri mu COVID-19, mtukoresa piti mosi, hamwena koko piti. Ebyo nivirugwa kampara, bikavura, konkati ya umu yugana ngutirimu. Mwene chwene chizibu chamani. In the first place, they are not very expensive, and they need a very small area where you can multiply them. 
and you have what you really want. Since the inception of the project, there has been steady production of high quality seed. And the number of farmers in the communities have actually gotten seed from the seed producers, which is of high quality. Cuttings, it's a way to go. For the youth out there, please don't abandon the agriculture. Agriculture is a way to go. Thank you.